x according to a x according to the four euro. Eat this? No. Is that is that is that your cracky x? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Did you smash the other piece? Yeah, you missed the other piece right here. <laughs> you gotta flip it and then smash it. Yeah. I have to turn it around. Turn it around, put it up there. Yeah, there you go. Robots and machines, it doesn't matter. This is my home, and I'm here to stay. Just one man, one survivor. Just for me. So, um, this is for vlog episode 3 of late at night on April 3rd. I actually had a recording um, when I was driving back from a meeting. So my deal is this, you know, I wanted to go back to this video that I recorded in the car. And I don't want it to be just a random thing uh, constantly on, on, on my vlog. And I hope that you can actually hear this piece of uh, little experience that I've had. Other than that, it's opening day. It's time for Dodger Baseball. The year is 3050. Man had the power. The machines took it. There's only one man left. So the concept of money um, at an early age, um, hard work and sacrifice and a lot of pain. That's my understanding of money. Everything has to be earned and um, it should be treated with respect. You know, after college, you know, getting my first job and then you know getting paid pretty decent. All the way through, you know, um, becoming a career director uh, at Saatchi and Saatchi, um, running an office in Beijing, and you know, was you know getting paid pretty well. So. Yeah, so that's sort of my concept of money at that sort of like late 20s, you know, mid to late 20s up the way to mid 30s, um, where, hey, I'm now a professional, I'm making good money. So my concept of money is about, hey, I earn it, I should spend it and take care and have a good time and, 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 and have good things. Then I left, uh, you know, the comfort and agency world and I started to do my own business. Uh, and that's when I realized the concept of money is back to pain, hard work, sacrifices, and occasional fear, depression uh, at, at one point. Because you know, you, you know, everything that you do, it comes out from your own effort. There is no backup plan. Both my parents were gone, and, and you know, I need to depend on myself. Uh, that's that's a given since I graduated from college. But then here's the funny thing, you know, when you start having your own business and have, being somebody who's actually a creative driven person, you know, I, I, you know, I, I was an illustrator, an art director, a designer, you know, and, and now a filmmaker, I enjoy creating things and making things. Speaking of money, I have been having a business relationship with a, uh, you know, a, a business entity and animation films and films that um, you know that promise the, the, the you know the big breakout projects and the promise of uh, getting a good paycheck six seven months later it didn't happen in the process I spent uh, quite a bit of money to taking trips investing on on expanding the office faster than I expected I could just bitch and moan about it it's disappointing, but that's the nature of life, you know. I, I, you know, when my mom 
took over the business from my dad, you know, she was a single mom, a woman um, living in, you know, the you know the 1980s era in Asia, and it was a very male-driven society. She fought through it, you know, and, and in the end, you know, the company lasted almost 42 years. I can't imagine the amount of disappointment and frustration that my mom had to go through in the 42 years, man. If my mom put her heart and soul and determination into it, and I've done the same when I started the uh, TBL um, the, in the past eight years, um, who am I to give up? Going back to the concept of money in relationship to what I'm trying to say here, the point is that money is what you make of it, what you perceive it to be, you know? Money is only a an item, a symbol of what you have done in order to get that, you know? So it really comes down to, to what we make of it, how we want to make of our lives to, and that money is just a symbol, an indication that Look guys, you've done what you've done and that's why you're getting this amount of money. Money can always be made back, but the experience of me making this mistake and failing and not getting what I need to get out of the opportunity is actually worth more than money because I'm actually gonna be learning from this, be smarter from this, be more savvy from this. In, in retrospect, I managed to hire two freaking amazing young kids who is dedicated, smart and talented and I treat them, I consider them as my family. Take them somewhere amazing that sh they, their talent and their ability can shine through. And then that way in the process, when we make the money together, it's a symbol of the effort, the talent, the family, you know, sort of a way of doing things. Money is just money until you see it as something more than a physical note, a physical dollar. And guess what? The only way is up. So, peace out, West Side. Catch you later. The more money you make, the more problems you get. <laughs>